Alright, so what we're going to be doing now is our front left leg. And obviously the first thing that we do is create a sketch. We're going to be working on the bottom plane again. Now we go to two point rectangle. Click on the datum point and the thickness of our leg is going to be 42. Tab 42. That tab key allows you to jump quickly between. We go to enter. You're going to finish your sketch and you're going to extrude this by 625. We go into. I can zoom out and I can pan using the hand tool. What I want to do next is see the square up in this right hand side. I just want to click on the front and I want to go create sketch and I'll work on this surface here. What I'm going to do here is I'm going to click on the line tool. And if I click on the line tool and this palette doesn't come out, I press the plus button. And I want to do some construction lines here. So construction lines here are basically just guidelines that you do when you draw it. And it's going to help us help me get to figure out where certain aspects are going to go on our leg. So the first construction line that we're going to do is 140 mils down. It should be straight down the edge. So it should be 140. And if you look at the degree, which is this one, it should be 90. I go enter. And you've got a blue, bit of a blue highlighted broken line there. The next line is at the bottom here, if I zoom in, and that's just going to go across the face of our leg. What you need to do now is if we get our rectangle and the construction steps, we need the construction lines, we need to turn them off now. So we turn them off. If I go to this corner, I need to go. 20 mils in, okay, which is the bottom one, which is one which is locked in, and it needs to be 19 mils high. This is all above that line, and I go enter. I want to finish my sketch, and I'm just going to rotate slowly. I want to extrude this point here, so I want to extrude this in. Now, if I click on the area, I want to extrude it by 15, so minus 15. So I must do a minus 1 to 5. And that goes internally into my job. What we want to do now is I want to work, this is going to be where my stopped housing joint goes. So my draw front is actually going to sit flush with this edge, and then my draw is going to go over this bottom rail. So this is a stopped housing joint. This is key for when we're doing our half lap dovetail on top. I want to do my half lap dovetail. So the dovetail goes in here and the biggest, the 20 mil is on that same side. So set it up exactly like I'm setting it up right now. When we're doing our half dove lap tail, make sure you create a new sketch. And we want to click on our line tool and we go construction lines. We click on the corner. We want to do one construction line at five mils. I'm going to click on the line tool again and I'm going to go back to that same corner. I'm going to do one at 10 mils. So I've got two, one at five there and one at 10, all from this corner. I'm going to do it again from this corner, from the opposite side. So we've got one at 10, and one at five mils. So I've got my two lines. I'm going to continue on with my construction lines here. By I want to go to both of the five markers. I want to go across the top 30 mils. Put the lines all again. So making sure that each of these lines are in the construction lines. Okay, so make sure the blue is still on. What you're going to do now is you're going to collect, select the line tool, but you're going to deselect the construction lines. So we don't want to have this on anymore. I'm going to go to the corner of my 30 mil construction line, and I'm going to do an angled line to my 10mm line on my edge. 
We do the same on this side. And I'm going to connect, make sure that the green means that it's actually connecting to the point. Okay, there, so it's connected. So that means that those three sides are all together. And I'm going to close off this shape, just like so. After I've done those four, I'm going to finish my sketch. Now, this is what yours should look like. We've got this top surface. You're going to extrude. And now this extrude extrusion is going to be a minus as well. So it's going to be a minus one nine. And that's going to go in. And notice how you, all of your construction lines have disappeared. The reason that they've disappeared is they were just marking out lines. They were nothing more. We want to move it around. We go to the home button. We go to front, like so. Now, this next step is going to be quite interesting for you. You're going to learn how to taper the leg. So when we're doing a taper, so this is the top. This is where it's going to connect with my other side. Okay, and this is where the other side will go. So my tapers are going to be on these two internal edges. Now the way I figure that out, is I'm going to rotate this like so. Now my taper is only going to be 10, about 7 mils. Before we start, before we start doing our taper, make sure that our first tapered edge that you've got the half dove lap a half lap dovetail here, and our stop housing joint here. That's going to allow for you to figure out where to put your joint. Okay, so we're putting it on that surface. So this one's going to be ten. Now enter. Make sure it's a solid line. Go from this 10 all the way up to the bottom of our stopped housing joint. I'm going to finish my sketch. This area in here, we're going to extrude it. And so we know how much to extrude it, just all it. That job. Just going to extrude it the whole way through, like so. Going to rotate. To the front edge, which is this one here. Going to create sketch. So as you can see here, you actually can't see how far you go up. So we want to do a construction line from this corner down, 140. So 140 because that's where that's how long, wide our side will be. I want to click on the line tool again, but now I want my line tool to be solid. Go to the corner, and that's going to be 10 mils. I want to finish my sketch. And I extrude this one all the way through again. So I have a look. My tapered edge is like so. So I've got a semi tapered edge. What I want to do next what I want to do next is I want to mark out where my mortise and tenon joint goes. So this is the front, so our drawer front's going to go there. It's going to sit on that. So I want my mortise and tenon joint to actually go on this side. 
because we're going to get a side coming out there, and I'll have another leg, which will be here, which we'll draw later on. The way we mark out our mortise and tenon joint, I'm going to click on this face. I'm going to create a line. And it's going to be a construction line to start with. I'm going to do a 20 mil line down. And this line, I'm going to do five mils in both construction lines. And this is how I'm going to mark out my mortars. I'm now going to do the two point rectangle, making sure that we turn off our construction lines now because it's going to be a solid surface that we're going to extrude. The trench is going to be nine mils wide. Nine mils up the top, we lock that in, and it's going to be 100 mils long. The reason it's going to be 100 mils long is that due to the fact that we've got 20 up the top and we've got 20 down the bottom, so 20 plus 20 equals 40, and if our overall length here is 140, our remaining is only 100. We finish that sketch. And this mortise right here, we need to extrude that inwards. We're only going to be extruding that inwards by 20 mils. So go minus two, zero. And that right there is our front right leg with our mortise joint, half dove lap tail, that half lap dovetail, and then our stop housing joint as well. So now we're going to save that.